it was almost 250 years ago that La, La Verandrae came through here for the first time as a white man. And when he was here, the Cree Indians had were just were just being pushed west by the Ojibwe Indians. This rock behind us here, uh, when he came by, was full of arrows that were stuck in the cracks of the rocks above the painted rocks here. He didn't know, and neither did uh, the other voyagers that followed, why the arrows were there. They speculate the natives were showing off their marksmanship or possibly trying to uh, show a sign of power to another tribe of natives or perhaps the white men that were coming through. Men like Alexander Mackenzie, men uh, David Thompson came through here, royalty came through here. This was the main route to the northwest across the continent uh, before Lewis and Clark and even after that. The main fur trading happened around that time, just before 1800 through about 1830 and uh, maybe a little beyond. And this is one of the most historic points right here. The Voyager's Highway by Grace Newt, which is a wonderful book for you to read. Everybody should read it. should read uh, all of her books, actually, if you're interested in this country. Uh, she writes about the Voyager Highway right here, which we are on now, coming from Grand Marais, going all the way to Lake of the Woods and beyond, where the Voyagers traveled, carrying their furs back and forth, summer to the rendezvous, um, and what have you. Uh, so this is a wonderful place to be here early this morning and luckily it's nice and calm and a beautiful day so i hope you're enjoying this as much as we're enjoying it